Beagle. One of the most popular hound dogs for centuries, beagles let you know exactly what they need and when they need it. Arguably, the word beagle comes from the French word beagle, which can translate into loudmouth. Beagles are very vocal animals and use their voices regularly. They'll tell you about everything from wanting food to seeing a squirrel. Beagle puppies bring a fun-loving and energetic spirit to your family home. Beagles are gentle, fun-loving hounds who enjoy long meandering walks followed by plenty of downtime next to their owners. Small in stature, beagles were bred to be hunting dogs and to this day are led by their nose. Their sharp sense of smell makes them a top choice for small game hunters, and you'll often see them employed as detection dogs searching for contraband at U.S. borders. Beagles require plenty of daily exercise and can fit in well with active families. These petite pups have long been a favorite of American families and currently rank as the seventh most popular breed in the U.S. Before we begin please click the like button and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of amazing topics to share with you. Welcome to Innovatronics TV and we're here to give you all about Beagle. Origin. The breed was originally bred in 16th century England as rabbit hunting hounds. Beagles can be traced back to 16th century England, where wealthy Englishmen often owned packs of hounds. The smaller hounds were the beagles, which were used in hunting rabbits and other small prey. They were also used as gun dogs, flushing game for hunters. Over time, the breed was developed in England and, later, in North America. Beagles became more refined and widely recognized in North America by the late 19th century, eventually becoming one of the most popular breeds. Though still used in packs for hunting today, beagles are more commonly seen as companion and family dogs. The breed was recognized by the American Kennel Club AKC in 1885. Snoopy from the Peanuts cartoons is a beagle, reflecting the breed's popularity at the time Charles Schultz began to draw the comic strip in 1950. President Lyndon B. Johnson owned several beagles while in the White House. Today, beagles are used by the United States Department of Agriculture for detecting contraband food detecting contraband food items in luggage. Appearance Easily recognizable by her big brown eyes and square, floppy ears, the beagle is a popular small to mid-sized hound breed. Their bodies are small but mighty and pack plenty of power. Whether a smaller in stature or a medium-sized dog, all beagles have a short, smooth double coat. They come in a myriad of colors, but are most frequently seen in a tricolor coat of black, tan, and white or blue, tan, and white. Their thick coats are prone to moderate shedding throughout the year, with a heavy shedding season each spring. Puppies Beagle puppies grow up into great companions for energetic kids and active pet parents. A beagle puppy can be noisy and a bit messy. Your beagle puppy's diet should be based around a high-quality, nutritionally complete puppy food. You may also wish to introduce them to fresh, lean raw meat however, don't feed your puppy any meat. It is particularly important that you make sure you do not overfeed your beagle puppy as they can become obese when they get older. Size Unlike many dog breeds, beagles do not vary much in size based on gender. However, the American Kennel Club currently recognizes two varieties of beagle in size. Two varieties of beagles in size, the 13 inches and under size and the 13 to 15 inches tall size. Weight. Beagles come in two basic sizes. Some are about 13 inches tall or under and weigh about 18 pounds or 8 kilograms. The second size group is from 13 to 15 inches in height and weighs about 20 pounds or 9 kilograms. Coat. The Beagle is considered a moderate shedding dog breed. He has a short, thick, tightly packed coat. Some of the shed hairs will fall back into the coat and some, of course, will fall out. It will be important to brush the coat on a regular basis to remove shed hairs from the base and to brush off loose hairs. There are some elements that will affect coat health and shedding amounts such as nutrition, coat care and environment. With good grooming practices, it's relatively easy to keep shedding under control. Grooming The beagle has a smooth, dense double coat that gets heavier in the winter, so spring is shedding season. Weekly brushing with a medium bristle brush, a rubber grooming mitt or tool, 
or a hound glove will remove the loose hair and promotes new hair growth as well. Beagles don't need to be bathed too often unless they happen to get into something particularly messy. As with all breeds, the beagle's nails should be trimmed regularly because overly long nails can cause the dog pain as well as problems walking and running. Color. These are the most common and popular colors of beagles. Beagles are typically multicolored dogs. It's extremely rare to find a solid single color beagle. At the very least, a beagle will have two colors. But many times, they'll have three colors, such as the classic tricolor, faded tricolor, black back or the dark tricolor. Black tan and white beagle. The black, tan and white beagle, tricolor, is by far the most popular color for these dogs. They're the classic tricolored beagle that we've all grown to know and love. However, these dogs are initially born with just white and black. However, in just a few short months, some of the black color starts to fade and develops into a brown or tan color. Thus, creating the three-colored coat. Despite the prevalence, the classic tricolored beagle is both spectacular and stunning. Black and Tan Beagle The black and tan beagle is another popular color variation, though not as popular as a classic tricolor. These beautiful beagles have both tan and black, but are missing the white to complete the typical tricolor variation. For the most part, these dogs are mainly black. But even so, you will see the brown or tan color on the bottom, chest, face, legs, ears and tails. However, the black color is certainly dominant and covers the body, back, tail, sides, ears and sometimes face. Chocolate Tricolor Beagle the chocolate tricolored beagle sports a coat that's another unique combination of colors commonly seen in the beagle breed. As if beagle colors weren't confusing enough, the chocolate tricolor has many shades to it as well. Some chocolate tricolor beagles will have a lighter shade that resembles a light brown or red color. As a result, they're often called the liver tricolor beagle. Their nose can be also be a brown or reddish color, and have light colored eyes too. It's rather difficult to tell the difference between a chocolate and liver tricolored beagle when they're in the early days of puppyhood. In fact, it may not be possible to tell until they're at least a few months old to a year. Blue Tricolor Beagle The blue tricolored beagle can also be called the blue, tan, and white beagle. Some breeders may also call them the silver tricolor beagle. But despite the unusual color combo, this color variation is officially recognized by the AKC. They look very similar to the classic tricolored beagle, however, the black is diluted to create a bluish or silver color. It is possible for a blue tricolor to lose their silver color as they age. In this case, we call them dark silver beagles. As for their noses, they'll usually be a dark blue grayish color. Furthermore, they'll have lighter colored eyes too. It's worth noting that blue beagles can develop color dilution alopecia. In this case, they may lose patches of fur and develop skin conditions. Tan and White Beagle In some cases, these tan and white beagles are called hair pied. These dogs sport a basic bicolor tan and white coat without the black on the back and body of the beagle. This means they're just left with a white base containing patches of tan. However in some cases, they can have black tips on the top of the hair and along their backs. Though this black is subtle and not enough to justify calling them classic tricolored beagles, it can be argued that they're a tricolor. Lemon and White Beagles Another popular color combination is the lemon and white beagle. As you may have guessed, the lemon is not the bright yellow that we see in the actual fruit. Rather, it refers to a yellowish golden color when it comes to beagles. The lemon and white dog will have a white colored base coat, with golden patches that can vary a lot in size and shape. Each dog will have unique patches, though the lemon patches are typically seen on the back and body, tail, face and ears of the beagle. The white base can also vary in color. It tends to range anywhere from an off-white, to a more creamish white, and even a clear solid white. Lemon and whites won't have any coloring on the tip of the hair, but will have a solid black nose. Black Tan and Blue Tick Beagle Though not as popular as other colors, the Black Tan and Blue Tick Beagle is an awesome color combo. It's truly a unique color combination, 
but still recognized by most of the kennel clubs. The tick refers to freckles on the coat of the dog. Though different, the pattern looks extremely similar to the blue merle coats of the Australian Shepherds. It's just that merle Aussies have larger patches of colors instead of small freckles on their beautiful yet lavish coats. These blue tick beagles have the classic black and tan color seen in the classic tricolor. But instead, they'll have a diluted black that looks like blue ticking all over the body, bottom, legs, parts of the face and the tip of the tail. Temperament Friendly, playful, and compact, it's no wonder the beagle has long been a family favorite. These high-energy hounds need plenty of daily exercise, but once properly exhausted they're more than happy to hang at home with their people. Beagles love to play. They make great companions for children and do well with cats and other dogs. As with any breed, it's important to properly socialize your beagle from a young age so she can learn to play nicely and not get too rough. It's also important to, to teach children how to properly interact with dogs and always supervise them when playing with any dog. It's no surprise beagles are loud. Because of their tendency to bark, beagles can make good alert systems, letting their owners know the moment a neighbor or delivery man starts walking up to the house. Because of their noise level and high prey drive, this breed can become a handful if not properly trained and cared for. These pack hounds are also happiest with company and shouldn't be left alone for too long. If your beagle becomes lonely or bored, she will howl for hours on end. Beagles are smart, curious dogs, but don't expect them to immediately obey your every command she'd much rather follow her nose and explore than sit on cue. Lifespan The beagle is considered a generally healthy breed with a lifespan of 10 to 15 years. But like all breeds, beagles can have certain health issues. Common health issues There's a lot to love about beagles, and while the breed is overall quite a healthy one, it can experience health problems. Let's take a look at some of them. Dental disease. Dental disease is the most common chronic problem in pets, affecting 80% of all dogs by age 2. And unfortunately, your beagle is more likely than other dogs to have problems with her teeth. It starts with tartar buildup on the teeth and progresses to infection of the gums and roots of the teeth. If we don't prevent or treat dental disease, your buddy will lose her teeth and be in danger of damaging her kidneys, liver, heart, and joints. In fact, your beagle's lifespan may be cut short by one to three years. Clean your dog's teeth regularly and look for what you can do at home to keep those pearly whites clean. Infections. Beagles are susceptible to bacterial and viral infections the same ones that all dogs can get such as parvo, rabies, and distemper. Many of these infections are preventable through vaccination. Obesity Obesity can be a significant health problem in beagles. It is a serious disease that may cause or worsen joint problems, metabolic and digestive disorders, back pain and heart disease. Though it's tempting to give your pal food when she looks at you with those soulful eyes, you can love her to death with leftover people food and doggy treats. Instead, give her a hug, brush her fur or teeth, play a game with her, or perhaps take her for a walk. She'll feel better, and so will you. Parasites All kinds of worms and bugs can invade your beagle's body, inside and out. Everything from fleas and ticks to ear mites can infest her skin and ears. Hookworms, roundworms, heartworms, and whipworms can get into her system in a number of ways, drinking unclean water, walking on contaminated soil, or being bitten by an infected mosquito. Some of these parasites can be transmitted to you or a family member and are a serious concern for everyone. For your canine friend, these parasites can cause pain, discomfort, and even death, so it's important that we test for them on a regular basis. Eye problems. Not many things have as dramatic an impact on your dog's quality of life as the proper functioning of his eyes. Unfortunately, beagles can inherit or develop a number of different eye conditions, some of which may cause blindness if not treated right away, and most of which can be extremely painful. Glaucoma, an eye condition that affects beagles and people too, is an extremely painful disease that rapidly leads to blindness if left untreated. Symptoms include squinting, watery eyes, bluing of the cornea the clear front part of the eye, and redness in the whites of the eyes. 
pain is rarely noticed by pet owners though it is frequently there and can be severe. Exercise. Beagles are active, energetic dogs who need at least an hour of exercise every day. This doesn't mean just letting them out in the backyard. Beagles were bred to work in packs and are happiest when they have company. A beagle who is left alone inside or outside for long periods of time will tend to become destructive. This can be avoided if he has a companion whether human or canine to play with. Beagles are escape artists, so an exercise area must have a fence at least 5 feet tall that extends underground to prevent tunneling. Walks must always be taken on a leash, because as a scent hound with a very strong hunting instinct, a beagle will not be able to resist the urge to run off in pursuit of a compelling scent. Training. It's very possible to train a beagle, but it will require lots of patience and consistent positive reinforcement training sessions. Make sure you have plenty of treats on hand, because what may take certain breeds 20 minutes to learn, with a beagle you're probably talking about two weeks, Kill Comments says. Housebreaking your beagle will be one of the most challenging, yet rewarding, types of training that you and your beagle will work on together. But once she's well trained, a beagle makes a great and obedient dog. Coupled with their fine-tuned sense of smell and friendly faces. Food diet. Beagles love to eat and are notorious for detecting, rating, and eating anything they can find. You should provide two meals a day of up to three quarters cup of dry dog food per meal. The amount will vary by the dog's size, age, activity level, and other factors. Keep the dog food and your human food well secured against this hungry canine. Because of their omnivorous appetites, you will have to monitor your dog's weight and take action if you see it is becoming overweight. Discuss your dog's needs with your veterinarian to get recommendations for the right food, feeding schedule, and amount. That ends today's video all about Beagle. Don't forget to hit the notification bell button to be updated on our new feature videos. Comment down below if you want us to tackle more interesting topics about dog breeds. Once again this is Innovatronics TV. Thank you for watching.